What it do, Ski YouTube? It's your boy, my name Malcolm, checking in. Hope you've been well. And just like my beard, I'm coming back again with another sneaker review. And today, it's something that hasn't been around in the last 19 years. It's actually another retro. This time, Nike opted to retro a Dunk Low, which was originally part of a pack back in 2001. It was one of the three shoes in the Ugly Duckling pack, which was comprised of the Nike Plum colorway, the Veneer colorway, and the third iteration, which I'm talking about today, in the Ceramic colorway. I think this one is very seasonally appropriate if you like fall or pumpkin spice lattes, because to me, those are pretty much the same thing, or at least that's what my girlfriend says. If you like orange, you're gonna love this shoe, but enough of the small talk. I really wanna give you a look at the materials because they are crazy. So let's take a closer look. I do have some bad news though. It does just come in a regular, regular Nike Dunk Low box. And by that, I mean all red Nike box with a white swoosh. Let's take a look on the inside. Hmm. What the? This isn't even my size, man. What am I supposed to do with this? You know what? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. <laughs> Got you for a second, didn't I? Didn't come to this point. Off the rip, these shoes feel amazing. This is probably some of the best material in terms of suede I felt in a long time on a dunk. But then again, Nike doesn't really miss when it comes to dunk iterations. And that's why there's been so many this year. And I know the colors right away may not be for you, but just give it, give it, give me a couple of seconds. I want to give you guys a closer look at Nike's latest iteration on the Dunk Low. Obviously, it's a super eye-catching colorway and it's definitely not something you see every day. I really don't know where to start, so let's keep it simple and start with the outsole as per usual. And for this one, it's an all ceramic outsole. And by ceramic, I guess they just really mean orange. I, when I see this right away, I think of like in my mom's backyard, she has a bunch of clay pots uh, that I used to help her garden as a kid. And this would be the actual colorway. In terms of the materials, holding it in hand, the suede is super, super buttery. Like this is crazy. And this, it's all accented by the premium black suede on the toe box, as well as the nori green accents on the swoosh. In terms of the midsole, it's all white. I do like this because it does provide like that stark contrast between the clay and the dark colorways and the white midsole to break up the shoe. Right above that, as I was saying, for the toe box, it's all black, perforated, but a suede material this time. So I'm glad Nike didn't opt for leather because honestly, a shoe like this and this colorway, if it was fully leather, I think it would look like a bowling shoe. That's just my opinion. You can let me know if you agree in the comments, obviously. And one thing you're gonna notice if you manage to get your hands on this shoe, is just the quality of the materials. Sometimes it is hit or miss with materials on Nike's releases, but the one thing I've seen consistently is every time, at least this year in 2020, Nike has came out with a Dunk Low or a Dunk SB, the materials have been on point. And they've been coming out like rapid fire, like every single week, week and week and week and week. And this is just the latest iteration. So I would definitely consider getting this if you're even remotely interested. In terms of the tongue, it's mesh as usual, accented by the light olive green laces. On the toe tag, it's a light olive green Nike hit. And the insole, it's full ceramic, as you would expect, with the olive green Nike hit as well. And I quickly want to bring your attention to the back of the shoe. As you can see, you have the black Nike branding. This is contrasted by the green Nori suede hit right here. Below that, it's all black canvas, as you'd come to expect on a Nike Dunk Low. And I really think it's this combination of materials and colors that set this model apart from some of the general releases that you may have seen throughout the year. I think they really knocked out the park with this. Overall, this shoe may not be for everybody just because of the colors. Like I see something like this, I think of like the Hamburglar, I think of like a clay pot. I just think of like Halloween related stuff. This came out like a couple of weeks ago. This would be a perfect Halloween shoe if you were dressing up as a pumpkin, honestly. But for me, I know I definitely want to add this to my collection. In terms of sizing, I know you're wondering because it is a narrow looking shoe as you can see. I would suggest staying true to size if you have a narrow foot. No harm, no foul. If you have a wider foot, you'd be good to go 0.5 size up, but no more than that at most, honestly. If you're gonna get a shoe and if you can get your hands on this, the price point is very, very good for what the type of materials you're getting. In terms of release dates, it is releasing soon. So make sure you're following normal on all social channels to keep an eye out for that. Let me know what you guys think. I think this shoe out of the pack of three is one of the better colorways. You can do your Googles online to see which of them you prefer. But where does this fall in your opinion of all the Nike Dunk Low releases for this year? And is Nike onto something here with this obscure eclectic colorway or did they just miss the mark? 
Let me know. And as per usual, if you want to stay up to date with everything in the sneaker and clothing world, make sure to follow Normal on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And obviously subscribe if you like the video and subscribe if you like me. And if you like my face, just let me know in the comments. And if you don't, that's totally cool too. I'm just here for the sneakers. We can keep all the personal stuff to the side. Appreciate the love and appreciate the view. As always, this is Mind and Malcolm checking out. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.